Charmed. Charmed was an American TV show that aired from 1998 to 2006. It was about four witches who battled evil beings such as demons and warlocks. Now I say four sisters even though it's really, it's technically three. But if you really want to get technical, it's actually four. They're, they're never there at the same time. Originally, it was Phoebe, played by Alyssa Milano, Piper, played by Holly Marie Combs, and Prudence, played by Shannon Doherty. Shannon left the series in 2001. I guess she got into some kind of argument with Alyssa Milano, who plays Phoebe. It centers on three witches who live in their grandmother's home in San Francisco, but Phoebe is the rebellious one, and Prue and Piper are the more responsible ones. Piper, played by Holly Marie Combs, owns a restaurant called Quake. Did they ever really establish what happened to that restaurant? I can't really go season by season. But I can tell you storyline by storyline. See, to make a long story short, I liked it when it first started off. I have to say, like when Prue was hiding her life from Andy Trudeau, played by T.W. King, who now uses his real name, Theodore. But... Yeah, I liked when Prue was hiding her secret from him. You know, th that was good. When they had to fight the swords and when they first discovered that Cole was behind all the evil that was happening to them in the beginning. Cole, played by Julian McMahon, a.k.a. Belfazor. He was the source's right-hand demon, I guess you could say. That was pretty cool. Cole lasted a, a long time. I have to give it to him. It was actually a long time. He was eventually vanquished in 2003 by Phoebe, Piper, and Paige. Paige was played by Rose McGowan. But anyways, it was a good show. My favorite, or one of my favorite storylines was when Phoebe was married to Cole, and Cole happened to be the source of all evil. I feel that I should mention that Prue was actually assassinated by a demon called Shaq. She was assassinated in May of 2001. In real life, she actually left the show, so I guess... That would make sense. Their grandmother was played by Jennifer Rhodes. Her name on the show was Penny Hollowell. Like I said, it actually had a few good storylines. But I do feel that by the time it reached like 2005, it started to get stupid. It really did. I'm going to post this on the Charmed Facebook page. And to the people that run the Facebook page of Charmed, I'm not trying to disrespect the show, but by 2005, they were clearly running out of ideas. I really hated the idea of them being at a magic school. I mean, seriously, is this Harry Potter? Paige, played by Rose McGowan, she's teaching a magic school, really? That's ridiculous. Let's talk about some of the surrounding characters. Dan, played by Greg Vaughn. Leo, played by Brian Krause. Daryl Morris, Lieutenant Daryl Morris. Yeah, Dorian Gregory. You know, I found it very interesting that he covered for the witches like uh, Andy Trudeau, played by T.W. King. 
those seasons, they were actually good. But by the time season seven rolled around, to me, it, it started to get ridiculous. It really did. It just got really bad. I liked the show all the way up until Paige started teaching at a magic school. I mean, what were these people thinking? Are you serious? Really? Paige teaching at a magic school? I know I said that earlier, but I don't know why they did this. It's clear that they probably started running out of ideas. That's what happened. Although, I have to say, I wish the show would come back, and I think it was very childish. Shannon Doherty couldn't come back to play Prue one last time. That was stupid. You mean to tell me the show was going off the air, and Shannon Doherty couldn't swallow her pride and come back to play the role one final time? Cole came back one last time. Why couldn't she? But I guess it's because Julian McMahon didn't have a fight with one of his co-stars. Now, did he? Cole Turner has to be my favorite villain on the show. Cole Turner was like a bad rash on the ass of goodness. He just would not go away. Cole Turner is absolutely my favorite villain on Charm. And that was my favorite storyline on there. When Phoebe was in hell with Cole and they were essentially running hell. Or a hell-like dimension. Cole was the source of all evil. That is the greatest storyline. For some odd reason, Dory and Gregory decided not to return to the show. And season 8 was made without Lieutenant Daryl Morris. I did not like that whatsoever. I think... The writers or whoever was behind this, they made a lot of terrible decisions. They really did. Another terrible decision they made was when they stripped Leo of his powers. Why would you do that? Why would you take Leo's powers away from him? He fell from grace? What the heck is that? Why would you... He, he's not a white lighter anymore. He's just a mere human. You know, you guys made a lot of terrible decisions. I love Charm. I was even considering buying the box set. Let's talk about another episode. What about the episode where Piper, played by Holly Marie Combs once again, she got shot by a bunch of demons known as I think they were called thorn demons or something like that. They shot her with a bunch of poison thorns. And next thing you know, she's in this coma. And they're saying, oh, only love can bring her out of it. And she runs into Cole. Cole was vanquished like a million times. And I was thinking to myself, well, is Cole back? Because every time they said he was vanquished, he came back. I know I'm not exactly going in order here. But, you know, I really liked it. But the thing that remains is, how come Piper was the only one that could see Cole? I didn't like that. I wanted all three of them to see Cole. And why did Piper not discuss her encounter with Cole? Why is that? They made a lot of terrible decisions. They should have let Piper discuss her encounter with Cole. Leo is supposed to be your husband. Leo gave up his wings for you, and you didn't think that he was trustworthy enough, that he was good enough, 
to know that you actually saw Cole Turner? Why would you keep a secret like that from your husband? That doesn't make any sense. He was supposed to be Piper's husband, and she didn't think he was good enough to know that. This guy just gave up his wings for her. He fell from grace for her, and that's what he gets for it, huh? Well, there's the gratitude of a woman. All you did was give up your angelic life and become human to show her how much you love her. And what does she do for you in return? She doesn't even think you're good enough to know that she saw Cole. Wow, that's that was really nice, Piper. That, yeah, that's being a good wife. But yeah, she saw Cole. Nobody else could see Cole except her. And by the way, Cole was basically in hell. And he comes back to help Piper to redeem himself. Because he's feeling guilty about all the evil he did. So he's like, oh, I feel bad. I'm going to come back from hell and help you now. I'm going to help you get your husband back. Because true love can bring him back. That's a stupid idea. I didn't like that idea. Again, I say to you, how come Piper was the only one that could see Cole? I hate that. I think it would have been better if they all saw Cole instead of just her. It's just not fair. It didn't make any sense. And then, come to find out, when, you remember that demon that Phoebe fell in love with, or the guy that used to be a demon? The, the one named Drake? Yeah, that one. Cole sent him. So what I'm thinking is, for Cole to be in hell, he sure is a busy man. I thought when you went to hell, you couldn't do anything. But apparently, from hell... Cole can play the love connection now. Really? Apparently Cole's powerful enough to be setting up demons from the great beyond. He sets up dates now. He can send dates, uh, demons on dates. I can't even talk right now. They're up on earth wasting their life away fighting evil. And this guy's in hell playing love connection. For the storyline where they meet their nephew, Chris. He comes from the future. You know, Chris, played by Drew Fuller. He comes from the future. And he comes to stop his brother from turning evil. I guess that was all right. But to make a long story short, at the end of Charm, it shows them aging and passing their powers on to their kids. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Charmed. It comes on a channel called The Wedding Channel, I think. It also airs on TNT, and you can catch it on Netflix also. Ladies and gentlemen, check out Charmed, starring Alyssa Milano as Phoebe, Holly Marie Combs as Piper, Rose McGowan as Paige, and of course, Shannon Doherty as the late Prue Hollowell. I often wonder what Charmed would have been like had Prue not been assassinated. I think the show should come back. I have a few problems with it, a few nitpicks with it, but overall I like the show. Except for Cole being in hell playing Love Connection. That was stupid. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. Check out Charm. It's a good show. The power of three will set you free. Thank you very much.